Hi hey guys, we're in the workshop today. Um, don't know if you've noticed outside that the the daylight isn't quite as as long as it used to be. Um, kind of struggling a bit on the boat now. We're, we're having to run a generator um, to basically replenish the batteries, but we let the batteries run down quite a bit. But we have now topped them back up. Anyway, our generator is only good for about 50 amps charging the DC batteries. So what we need to do is charge. The batteries at higher rates but our charge is only good for 70 amps so even if we put as much ac into it as we want we can only charge at 70 amps if we need to so we've had a plan we need a dc generator so we need to be able to charge our batteries at one hell of a rate so we've now got 150 amp 24 volt basically it's a wagon alternator so we needed to turn this, so how are we going to turn this? So we thought, I know, let's buy a road sweeper. A road sweeper. Because it's got a very small two cylinder, um, 479cc water cooled diesel in it, which is about 12 horsepower, I think. So we, we bought one of them, and that's basically going to turn that alternator. But when we bought it, oh, it runs fine, it runs fine, it runs fine. We got it back here, it ran, it was like white smoking quite a bit, it ran like a bit of a bag of spanners. It cleaned up after it got, after it warmed up and I thought, oh, I can't have this on the boat. I can't drag it all the way to the boat and then it break on us. So we've now decided to build the engine. So it was smoking a lot on number two. So initially I thought it was like injectors staying open or something, but turns out, can you see the ring land? The ring land had broken, that's, that's what carries the piston ring. So all the energy being, being pushed onto the piston, the piston ring needs something to sit on. So the piston ring wasn't sealing correctly, so it wasn't generating enough heat in the cylinder to combust the air and fuel. So that's where we're at. We need to put the engine back together. So here's all of our components already laid out, even thrown some paint at them, to try and prevent some corrosion. Um, yeah, all new oil, new pistons, new rings. Um, it shouldn't take too long, it's going to, going to reassemble it and then hopefully by the end of the day we've got a running engine. What's your story? What's your sign? It's like we're twin flames in a different life. Deep connection, lights a spark. It's like you know me in the depths of my heart. We're dreamers. So the engine's upside down, the sump's on, glued up, the engine mounts are on and we'll talk more about why the engine mount goes on front later. So I've now put some rubber anti-vibration mounts. Initially I was going to use these bigger ones but then I didn't have much clearance between the sump and the mount so I found that one. That one's about 2mm wider so I'm just going to opt for four of the skinnier ones. I could potentially go to the large ones. I think these ones will dampen vibration better, but you never know, it might shake too much, so we might have to go for a larger one, but we can always shim these a bit, can't we? Anyway, so she's upside down. So while she's upside down, no oil in her, I'll need to work out, I need to make a map now of where these, where these bolts are. So when we make a frame later, it'll make our life 10 times easier. So let's go do some, some cardboard templating, make it fit, 
Tell us where the sump is, tell us where these are, and then we'll take a reference from the bell housing. Right, so she's back together. So the majority of this wiring is going to be changed for, for part of the control systems and whatever, but I've put a, a larger alternator on her. So we've gone from a 14 amp to a 40 amp alternator. Um, the auxiliary belt that I bought was the wrong one, so reinstalling that one. Um, stop solenoid. Then if you notice me sand off the sand this off clean because it, it gets its ground through here and it just just has one signal wire to stop. Uh, what else have we done? Yeah, oh yeah, this is this is all part of the control system as well because obviously this is an oil pressure sender, so we had to put like an adapter in there. There's the oil, oil pressure switch, which is normally on vehicles but we're going to be monitoring oil pressure and oil temperature um yeah well it's quite nice and fresh now doesn't it after the um after original the original how we got her so now i'm going to connect up my very basic cooling system at the moment and fuel system and batteries and all the all the everything it needs to to run her so we're, we're going to connect all that up and then after dinner, we're going to turn the key and see if she fires. What do you reckon? Yeah, it's going to go. time is it going to run so we've got oils on the max caps are on our very very basic cooling system which has actually worked quite well because I've run this before like this um, we've got fuel now up to the pump going through the bleed offs at the moment we've got the 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 injector pipes loose so we can actually crank her hopefully i genuinely haven't done this and we've got an oil pressure warning light on so we're going to crank her hopefully the oil pressure warning light goes out that means we're making pressure and then we'll lock these off and then see if she fires hey she sounds quite good so still no oil pressure All that's 
got off. Plenty of fuel now. So we'll lock the injector pipes off. Scary. So I'm gonna gotta get ready on the stock. Turn her off now, check the oil level, maybe allow it to cool for a second, even though it's not really hot, so. Um, then if you notice the exhaust, the exhaust is blowing, but we'll be making a complete new manifold, so I've not, I've not done a proper job of fitting that. Um, but yeah, she sounds really good. So while I've been building engines. I've been doing battery turns. At least you've got your merch on. They <laughs> 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 like me. <laughs> So, Jim? Oh my god, look at the mess! You can tell I haven't been here, can't you? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Show me what you've done. That's nothing. You have to watch the video. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe if you make a bro. What have you done to my kettle? I used it to fill the water with. I didn't make sense freezing it there. So after the first fire up, it's all good, no leaks, nothing, I've checked the oil, uh, I've stopped it, probably left it 20 minutes or something like that, um, she's, she's just sort of making some temperature, um, let's see if she fires up again, shall we? Pulse a tiny bit of smoke, but I think after she's running, she'll be cool. We like, don't we? On the button. Gemma, start the journey. It's just the start button's a bit crap. Gemma, start the journey. <laughs> okay, I can start it, but I can't stop it. <laughs> can you she... perfect a bigger yeah. stop button? Yeah, like yeah, a big yeah. comedy clown button? Yeah. <laughs> I've actually got some big stop buttons coming. Don't know where I've ordered them from because I ordered them ages ago. <laughs> Tim booked in. Um, so go on top of the cats, just like, stop. Look at the paintwork. Oh. Oh. Show me about the auxiliary belt. Yeah, what's going on there? I don't know. I need to buy a new one. So it's the next day. Uh, wheeled her outside, about 9 o'clock, but we'd be okay. Um, 
had a quick check around, topped off the all a tiny bit. Um, let's see if she runs. Um, give her some heat, I think. Um, water's still up there. There's no leaks or anything daft like that, so that's good. Bit of throttle. So we'll get the air filter on and stuff like that, I'll give her a nice long run. Um, get her sort of right up to temperature and bring, bring her back down, then should be good then. Right, let's go and have a look inside, shall we? So the engine's all built now, running absolutely perfect, stop started it. Uh, there's no smoke now, which is good. Um, I've now set the fuel pressure on it, so give it a bit more fuel. Um, right, so. So, 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 the, I've always looked at like VMAX and stuff like that. So VMAX is like a, a multi-power generator. So you can take off like hydraulics, you can take air off it. You can, um, that was my intention, initial, initial intention for this engine. Because I'll show you on the other side. It came with a hydraulic pump, which worked and so one of the pipes decides to burst on it. So it's got a pump, and it's got like a few motors, because it used to have like little sweepy bits at the front, and then it's got the drive motors. Um, so we can take advantage of the hydraulics. So I've got a big valve block, and I say the motors and stuff. Um, so we will be having like an electronic to, mo to monitor all the, the engine um, Eugene McCarlitz, but all we've got wired at the moment is the voltmeter, so, um, but we'll be obviously connecting into like the fuel, um, oil pressure and like the, this is, this is for the coolant temperature, X, Y, Z. Okay, so that's all sorted. So yeah, the alternator, as I said earlier, it's 150 amp, 20, well, it's 150 amp, 28 volts, so it'll charge at 28 volts basically, um, alternator. So I might end up having to do um, a remote regulator, but that's when we can start getting some, actually controlling the power that's coming out. So hopefully we can see, let me see. So the alternator is gonna be mounted around here somewhere, because obviously I'm gonna have to, to get the right, the correct rotation, it's gonna have to be this way. I could have gone for a large case alternator, but I like this because it was compact. Um, I'm going to be shaping the actual the actual case for this to, to sort of match the hole, so like we, we can keep it keep it right on the port side. So the, the alternator is going to be around here somewhere. Um, it's going to be all mounted up. Then we're going to put on a poly a poly V belt. So then I mix this old tensioner just to sort of sample it. Um, that's going to actually tension the belt. Initially, I was going to be running an air conditioning pump, or I still could in the future, to supply air. But then my research on them, they don't, they don't give that much to you. So it's good for pumping up tires and stuff, but um, I'd, I'd, so I'll probably get like a tractor PTO um, air compressor one day. But I think the actual gearing, is this they all need quite a large pulley on it. But what, what I liked about it, these, these have got like an electric clutch. So we can basically go button on, button off. The engine itself is going to be electronically controlled, so it'll maintain an RPM. So I bought this little gizmo, which is a generator, a generator speed controller, basically. So we've got a an actuator which will which will operate the throttle. Um, that's the plan. So then we'll have a nice control panel, stop-start buttons. There's going to be like warnings when the engine's going to start. Um, this will all be in like a nice box somewhere. I'm not quite sure where it's going to go yet, but... Okay, so that's probably wrapping this episode up of um, my little side projects. You know, I like to tinker, so... Yeah, it's going quite well. Um, yeah. 
So, thank you for watching. See you next time.